Fisher's Eye is funded by the USAID from the American people. It's 7 a.m. at Adena in the Ketu South Municipality, Buta region. It's a bustling morning. Fisher folk and processors are engaged in mineral activities. Fish constitutes an essential component of household diet. It is estimated that at least 70% of animal protein consumed in Ghana originate from fish. Poor fish handling is a threat to both food and consumer safety. Jejom Agozi and her mother, Esther, are beneficiaries of a USAID sponsored safe fish certification training. From the landing beach, the fish is stored and packaged in these containers and transferred to the processing site. Jejom receives her fish and later changes into appropriate gears. She observes personal hygiene and washes both hands and fish to prevent contamination. Jejom explains why she's diligent in handling and processing fish. Some people came and taught us about how to smoke their fish, how to handle them, um, how to dress when you want to smoke. First, you have to cover your hair, you have to dress properly, wash your hand before handling the fish. She added, fish processors have the responsibility to ensure that fish that ends up on plates of consumers are hygienically processed. She recounted some unhygienic fish handling and processing practices engaged in by fish processors. According to Jejom, she is now better equipped to comply hygienic and safety standards to improve fish processing. Before, we don't cover our hair. We don't wear these dresses, apron and those things. We don't wash out. We smoke anyhow we like. But now, you have to cover your hair and wash your hand before and after the smoking. This one, it's brings good health because first we don't handle the fish well but now you handle it well when you take it to the market it looks so attractive yeah Marana <laughs> Ta in less than an hour, the fish is processed, ready for the market. Jejom and her mother affirm that hygienic handling and processing of fish enhance the quality and value of fish and boosts consumer confidence. Joseph Armstrong, go with the TV3, Keji, Wuta Region. Fisheries Eye is funded by the USAID from the American people.